Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about U-value calculation. Okay, how to calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient value that we have to see. So let's start. So in that first of all, here we have to see the U-factor calculation. Okay, first of all, I will discuss you that what is u factor and what is the use of u factor in heat load calculation and it is very important term okay uh, so u factor is also called as a overall heat transfer coefficient and how to call calculate that u factor manually also i will show you uh, otherwise uh, with the help of this ashray fundamental handbook you will get the u factor value okay for wall for partition for ceiling for floor everything so you can see here in this image here I have drawn one wall bricks wall okay so if suppose this bricks wall is there so you know the concept of heat transfer that heat will always transfer from high temperature body to low temperature body so in summer season if suppose your uh, outside outside temperature is high as compared to inside the room so heat will transfer from outside to inside okay so see here it is also known as overall heat transfer coefficient see it defined how much amount of heat will get transferred to the room through wall glass roof and partition okay so this is about u factor so u factor will define how much amount of heat will get transferred to the room through wind uh, through wall glass roof and partition so that i will show you here and here the formula is written that u factor remember here one more thing that u factor is equal to 1 upon summation of r r is here resistance okay so how much heat will resist by your wall glass roof and partition that we have to so here you have to remember one point that u factor always inversely proportional to summation of r okay resistance now see the u factor calculation here here I have taken one question calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient for 4 inch bricks wall suppose here I have drawn one wall 4 inch brick, uh, bricks wall material uh, you can see the heat will transfer from uh, suppose so heat will transfer from outside to inside the room so first of all this wall and whatever we have a plaster also cement plaster you can see this is our indoor air outdoor air half inch inside plaster then here you can see the half inch outside plaster is given so when heat will transfer through uh, outside heat will transfer inside the room through this uh, wall so what happened we know that some amount of heat will resist by the outdoor air then if you have given the half inch outside cement plaster so that this cement plaster will also resist some amount of heat then bricks wall will resist some amount of heat after that we have a half inch inside plaster so it will also resist some amount of heat then indoor air will resist then finally the heat will transfer inside your room so first of all if you want to find out the u value means overall heat transfer coefficient value so first we have to find out the summation of r means how much heat will resist by this all outdoor air cement so that we have to once you will get the summation of r value means resistance value total resistance how much heat will resist by this wall and all so you can easily get the u value because you know that u u factor always inversely proportional to a summation of r okay so let's see how to calculate this so for that here you can see in solution first it is written the summation of r is equal to as i told you that heat will some heat will resist by the outside air so i have written oa in short then plus some heat will as resist by half inch cement plaster it is written here cp plus four inch bricks wall also resist some heat then inside plaster half inch cement plaster will resist some heat then indoor air also resist now the question is here okay we know that uh, this all are resisting the heat okay when heat will transfer from outside to inside now the question from where we get this resistance value that okay outside will resist some heat 
but how much amount of heat will resist by outside air cement plaster bricks wall so don't worry here same from ashray handbook only you will get the table here based on material here i have taken some um, some material here but uh, when you go i will share you that uh, ashray handbook when you just go through it you will get each and everything as per your material here i have taken some material only but uh, in that handbook you will get the in detail so see based on material k uh, means conductivity is given and resistance value their unit is also given okay so see if it is a concrete material so that uh, it will be resist that much amount of heat so in our case first of all outside air na? so it is written here outside air so outside air will resist how much it 0.25 square feet degree fahrenheit r per btu inside will resist inside air will resist 0.65 that much of heat it will resist and suppose if you have a cement plaster so cement plaster will resist 0.12 now okay this material will resist 0.12 but how much inch of cement plaster you have taken if you have taken half inch cement plus cement plaster so half inch multiply by 0.12 okay as per your requirement same way bricks material will resist 0.2 that much of heat so based on your thickness suppose the thickness of bricks wall is 4 inch so 4 into that much 0.2 okay so from here you will get the resistance value i hope that all of you understood so now here already we have seen that outside air will resist how much heat cement plaster will resist how much heat okay from the table so here i am just putting all the value here see outside air will resist how much heat uh, 0.25 and cement plaster will resist uh, 0.12 bricks wall will resist 0.2 so in this way you have to put the value so finally when you see here we have got 1.82 so this that much amount of heat will resist through this wall okay so first we have to calculate the summation of r once you will get the value of summation of r resistance value so we know the relationship between u value and r value we know that u value will always inversely proportional to summation of r so here we have got 0.54 u value is 0.54 btu per r square feet degree fahrenheit okay so in this way we have to calculate the u value so i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one